Chamey Free was like our hit. <laughs> Chamey Free, I mean, we just wrote and rewrote. We had that song all the way back to high school. I had this, you know, old funky four track recorder. And that was one of the first things I recorded the band playing. I mean, we basically just picked over the whole record. Any nook and cranny of a song that we could refine or try and add a hook, we did. One of the big things was like guitar solos. I think at the time there was like a bunch of bad 80s metal ripoff shredding. And like, we were just kind of so fed up with that. So we really wanted to try and, you know, come up with a melody that you could like sing. One of the things I remember specifically was there was like a part in Chain Me Free where, where John's guitar solo actually was like an old chorus that we rewrote. It really became more about the song than, uh, you know, trying to show off or anything. Chain Me Free was another one of the songs that we just played like every show. It was our first single, as it were, because we shot like, you know, a real music video. We shot two actually, because the first one didn't work out. We did one music video that never came out of us covered in duct tape, which I totally forgot about until we posted a picture of it on Instagram a few days ago. It's like, oh yeah. We did another music video with like the backwards cool stuff. I think a lot of people know that one because we did the backwards video for it. I still remember how to sing that. It was like, hi, name's Zikish. How do you see? Why, Mickey? Why, Mickey? I'll never forget how to sing that song backwards. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't remember dates and everything, but I remember how to sing my songs backwards from the old days. That song caught a lot of people in the industry's attention for whatever reason, so that became kind of like a calling card for us. They thought that song like had hit potential. I think back to like this, how surreal it was to like make a music video with like a crew. For me, for at least Chamber Free, I always identify with like, that was when we became like a real band because we got signed and all this stuff happened. And not just because of that song, but that song was what a lot of labels and industry people thought was like the song. Yeah.